Hi there, gang. I'm my radar meteorologist, Matt Capucci, with your tropical weather update. At this point, we should probably begin discussing scenarios on what happens if Beryl enters the Gulf, which is a distinct possibility at this point. Some models depict a re-intensification or even rapid intensification if Beryl enters the Gulf. Other weather models take a weak storm into Tamaulipas, Mexico that doesn't have much of an impact. It's over Jamaica right now. Hurricane warnings are in effect there, and we know after that it will drift west into the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, probably as a Category 1 or Category 2 hurricane. As we said, those hurricane warnings are in effect for Jamaica, then hurricane watches in effect for portions of the Yucatan. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram for more hurricane information and for possible storm chasing. I'll be out in the field if there is a U.S. landfall. We did that last season, the season before. Every single time you can count on us nonstop during hurricane season. So diving right in, Beryl is technically technically a Category 4 right now. It looks much more like a Category 3 to me. It will probably drop down to a 3 in the next few hours. It is still, though, a major hurricane. On infrared satellite, we can see the appearance is kind of degraded a little bit. It's not quite as symmetrical. The eye has not really hollowed out anymore. It looks a little ragged, a little disheveled. I mean, frankly, don't we all? And there's a reason for that. It's dealing with southwesterly shear, or a disruptive change of wind speed and or direction with height. Basically, the winds kind of change direction. That means different levels of the storm are pulled and pushed in different directions. It's like a game of tug of war, working to knock the storm off kilter. We'll contend with these harsh upper level winds these next 36 hours as the storm continues west-northwest in the Caribbean, so I think gradual weakening will ensue. That's part of the reason why the core is degraded a little bit. If we look on morphed microwave infrared satellite imagery, we basically look under the hood, under the clouds, and we see that core is no longer closed. That's a sign of some weakening. But that said, Beryl is moving over very warm water temperatures in the mid 80s. That means lots of oceanic heat content, i.e. a lot of fuel in the form of warm waters that Beryl can extract, transform into atmospheric energy, and get this storm at least trying to go once again, fueling showers and thunderstorms. So the net effect, it's not gonna strengthen, it's not gonna weaken super quickly, it will be gradual weakening. So I think the storm makes landfall in Cancun late Thursday or especially early Friday morning as a Category 1 or Category 2 hurricane. Wind gusts either side of 100 miles per hour where the core comes ashore. We could also see 4 to 7 inches worth of rain over the Yucatan Peninsula as it crosses into late Friday afternoon. Then the storm enters the Bay of Campeche and the southwest Gulf of Mexico and things get a little more interesting and a little more dicey. How far west it goes depends on the strength of high pressure off the north and east. That high pressure is like a, a dome, a magic force field pushing Beryl away. If that high is stronger, it shunts Beryl farther south and west. Then the question becomes, how far north does Beryl get? It depends if Beryl interacts with a trough or a dip in the jet stream with low pressure off the north and west over the central U.S. If that trough over the central states captures Beryl, it'll be tugged north and make a Texas landfall. That again isn't a high possibility, but it is on the table. Either way, when it gets to the Gulf, we have very warm water temperatures, and I do think we'll have some divergence or spreading of the air aloft. To me, that says rapid intensification is on the table if it gets to the Gulf. Again, this is four or five days up, but we are watching this nonstop. If you haven't already, follow my radar across the board on all social media platforms, and be sure to keep it tuned right here in the free My Radar app. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.